up, Big Ten fans? Juice Williams here in Champaign, Illinois, in the house I helped build. I'm just coming to tell y'all a little story of what happened in 2007. Before I could even take a drink of water, I see Ohio State receiver run up the sideline the first play of the game. Huge play. Next play of the game, Benny Wells bounce off a tackle, scores a touchdown. Now I'm thinking to myself, like, oh man, here we go. It's a tough game. They not number one for nothing. But I wasn't too bothered. A couple minutes later, I see my guy, Dane DeFrini, running up the sideline for a big play. Took my time, next play, hit the receiver in the back end zone. Uh-oh, touchdown. So we back into it. A couple of plays later, Maurice West scores a touchdown in the corner of his game. Now we down 14-7. Second down and 11, line the guys up. And I just thought to myself, if this safety bite down on the run, we got a touchdown over the top. Sure enough, safety bites down, I throw the ball over the top to Jacob Willis for a 33-yard touchdown. Later on in the second quarter, we back to it. Called another crossing route. Hit Brian Gamble for a touchdown. Got it to Brian Gamble. We're on the road against the number one team in the land at the Horseshoe. And we up by seven after halftime. Like midway through the third quarter, I see a play action call from the sideline. It's money time again. I find Marcus Wilkins in the back of the end zone for another touchdown. 28-14. Now, inside, I'm filled with joy, but I still have to have my serious face on. Because I know we still got business to take care of. Wells, touchdown! Unfortunately, we couldn't keep Benny Wells out of the end zone the entire game. Now I'm getting a little concerned because those guys are building some momentum again. I don't know what's going to happen. We up, but we're not supposed to beat the number one team in America. So, play actually comes from Ty Beckham. He goes up top. And I'm wondering, where is this ball for the land? Which receiver about to catch it? Long ball, and it's intercepted at the 24 by Marcus Thomas. Miami Thomas, good play, boy. We get the ball back. We run a little time off the clock. Four for inches, here we go again. The most important measurement of the day. Oh, look at this. Now what do you do? Oh, boy. Because it calls for the punt team. Now, on the sideline, I'm telling myself, I know I can get a half an inch. No doubt. My head is big enough to get a half an inch. Coach Trestle calls a timeout, so that gives me a little time to convince Coach Zook. Convince him, he calls it, quarterback sneak, we get the first down. Third and 10, quarterback draw, who gets the first down? Me. I look up at the clock, it's under two minutes left. We need one first down, and it's game over. We call another quarterback draw, I get the first down. All those plays were really significant to my career because anytime I got in a tight situation, I always reflected back to those plays. Clock hit zero. I just think to myself, I cannot believe we just beat the number one team in America. 